I'm Ashton Addison from Event Chain for Investment Pitch Media and the Crypto Coin Show. And today on Blockchain Interviews, we have Eric Ma, the CMO of Deeper Network. Eric, welcome to the show, and it is a pleasure to have you here. It's great to see you again, Ashton. Likewise, I want to jump right into Deeper Network because I know your team is so busy right now. There's a lot of updates to cover. If we can just kick it off with an overview and a focus of Deeper Network and some of the solutions that your team is bringing to the table uh, in the industry right now. Sure. Um, Deeper Network is was founded in 2018 by our CEO, uh, Russell Leo. Um, he previously had been uh, at Intel as one of the, the head engineers there, and he headed up um, the research and development team at uh, Int, uh, what was it, Palo Alto Networks. And our headquarters uh, is now currently in Santa Clara, California. And um, uh, the product, uh, uh, the rest of the team, we, you know, we have our amazing CTO uh, who built um, Deeper Network on Polkadot. And um, he is, he used to be the head of AI at Amazon. So we have an amazing de development team. Um, wow. There's a lot of pressure wow. for me from the, from the marketing side, trying to keep up uh, with what they're doing. And um, I'm the CMO. And we also have our co-founder, Cheryl, who um, had previously owned um, in, in the crypto space uh, consulting business, which actually helped uh, Quantum and Tron and some of these bigger projects off the ground um, during their ICO days. So uh, we have a pretty solid team. We have a team of about uh, 30 people where um, some of us are decentralized and uh, mm -hmm. others are at the headquarters, uh, mostly in Canada, USA, um, Taiwan, and some in China as well. So that's pretty much the team. Mm -hmm. And our product itself, since 2018, um, it, it's pretty amazing to have um, a sixth generation um, hardware basically in development. And um, our solutions for that we're, we're trying to provide for the world is um, basically a safer, a more secure, uh, more private and fairer internet. So what that means is um, our hardware unit uh, called the Deeper Connect it provides um, decentralized private network, which is basically a, a decentralized VPN. And the, the unit itself is not, it doesn't only make you a client, but it's actually also a server. So you become a node when you have the unit. And uh, we've been selling, we partnered with uh, Best Buy, Amazon that sell our products. And recently we've broken records on Indiegogo, which is kind of a, uh, I guess a Kickstarter website. I don't know if you ever heard of it, but uh, uh, we've, broken records, we have become the biggest uh, blockchain product um, um, to successfully sell so much on Indiegogo. And uh, we've sold over 10,000 units already since 2018, which means uh, we currently have over 10,000 nodes around the world. So we tunnel through uh, firewalls and, um, you know, um, we, we were able to route to different parts of the world for the VPN aspect. Um, the you know DPN VPN centralized versus decentralized is a mm -hmm. huge huge difference there, and then the, the, as far as the security goes, we offer a seven layer firewall, um, also cloud firewall, which um, allows uh, for much like enterprise level um, security at home. So with the with the current trend of everyone working from home, um, a lot of times the security at home is is not as safe as when you're at the office. And with today's mm -hmm. world of people owning crypto and having all the sensitive um, information, uh, our, our basically security really provides for um, basically no prevention of hackers from entering your network, as well as uh, tracking hardware, malware, and uh, privacy leaks, uh, you know, data leaks and stuff like that. Um, it blocks all that stuff and uh, it's all controlled through our software that you can control um, on Atom OS and parental uh, controls like blocks and, and all and advertisements. Um, so these are the two main features that have been functioning on the Deeper Connect. And then the last part is the blockchain aspect. Um, we are going to be launching our mainnet. It's been in testnet, our block Deeper uh, blockchain, which is built on Polkadot, is going to be the Web3 um, gateway for uh, Web 3.0. So decentralized internet, and we're going to be creating um, ecosystems for things such as DeFi products, uh, NFTs, uh, DApp stores, 
and um, you know, e-commerce, decentralized e-commerce and decentralized e-services, all that is going to be available um, on the Deeper Net Connect. And, um, and we're launching that in quarter three. And the, the coolest thing also is uh, the gas that runs the whole thing is the DPR token, uh, which we're having a public sale on that. We'll talk about that a little bit later. And uh, the DPR token uh, runs the whole entire network. It incentivizes uh, users um, to donate their unused bandwidth to the network, which helps speed up the network. And it doesn't waste uh, your kind of unused bandwidth. You're paying for it. So might as well, if you're not using it, to donate it to the, not donate, I should say, to contribute to the network. And in return, you can mine DPR tokens. So that is our proof of credit algorithm, which allows for people to mine DPR tokens using their unit. Uh, the unit itself doesn't use very much electricity, like some people might think. Uh, it uses less than 1% of the energy of an ASICS miner. So it tops out at around 15 watts. So it's really uh, not a lot of energy to be mining. And so that helps. That's an incentivization. And obviously, for the ecosystems and stuff, uh, DP DPR token will be the the currency uh, of use there to develop dApps, to buy dApps, uh, use those services. So very cool, Eric. And yeah, a lot covered there. Um, and congratulations on that Indiegogo campaign. I didn't know that you launched that and just to be partnered with Best Buy and these other stores to actually be selling a blockchain based product and breaking records. Um, that's like a huge milestone for not just Deeper Network, but for the industry. Um, so very interesting product. And you know, I've been researching into these decentralized VPNs because there are a lot of problems just with centralized VPNs and just the internet overall. This needs a whole overhaul, which blockchain is working on. Uh, I'm curious with the deeper connect and the deeper network, you know, there's all these functionalities and it's going to make the internet better, but it also can be technical. Is there a, a focus on usability or allowing this product to get to not just the power users and the technical users of the internet, but you know, for the average user or just the slightly above average user to need this product as well? That's a great question. Um, usability and uh, is key. The interface, uh, everything. The box itself is plug and play. And uh, you, you basically just plug in the deeper connect unit, uh, which is about the size. I mean, we have we have different generations. So the mini itself is about the size of your palm, a little bit, a little bit and a longer, like a rectangle. And then you have the, the nano, which is smaller than your palm. And we're coming out with a sixth generation. It's about um, halfway through development currently, and uh, the Pico. So that one will offer Wi-Fi support. So uh, that one's about the, the size of a thumb drive. So that's uh, quite small. And you just plug it in between the router and the internet, and literally you're, you're set up. As far as the interface goes, um, you can access it through the internet um, through an, an IP address. And the interface is uh, a lot of graphics. Um, we have users who have been posting on YouTube um, kind of not associated with us. They're not working with us, but they're just posting and showing the, the product and how easy it is to use. And uh, I've been loving to see those because those things are are true, like an indication of how, how easy it is to use. And uh, through the interface, you can control uh, toggles and, and different things, you know, turning the mining on or off and these kind of things. Um, very easy to use. Don't It doesn't really require any technical um, issue, like uh, settings or anything like that. Mm -hmm. um, if you have technical support, if if uh, needed, and we can certainly help with those kind of things, um, if yeah, so yeah, but it's very usable, and uh, we that was one of our main focuses because what we really want to achieve is to have every household in the world to have one of these, and uh, the price itself is quite affordable. Uh, right now, it's on Indiegogo for two hundred forty nine dollars, and um, you know, purchasing it, you never have to pay for VPN again. Um, so mm -hmm. it's just one time fee and you have basically decentralized a private network for the rest of your life and, and all the other features, the security and everything. So definitely. And that's great because a lot of those VPN services are on subscription and you're their customer for life and, you know, sort of stuck under their subscription. So that's really interesting that the model that you're doing it with. And I wanted to talk about, you know, the early incentivization of these hardware, uh, connectors and just getting people on. But it seems that you sort of touched on that as you build out the main net that you're building, uh, people will be able to use their unused bandwidth and their connections to 
be incentivized to actually get DPR tokens. Um, is that really something that is, you're going to see as one of the main drivers of adoption? And of course, like there's other benefits to just having the decentralized VPN overall, but that seems like a, a major incentive to have people buying this hardware and, and getting connected to the network. Yeah, I mean, I, I see it as like a, like a huge bonus. It's like uh, buy one, get three free kind of a deal, you know, where buy one, get two free because uh, of the features. I mean, we have people who purchase uh, the unit just for the security. You know, that that's obviously really important. I know usually people's uh, home security is not very safe. And this mm -hmm. thing, anything that connects to it, including IoT devices, um, cell phones and stuff that are connected through through whatever the uh, the router is, is protected under this thing. So um, some people buy it for the security, some people buy it for the for the DPN, and a lot of people buy it for that because it's a one-time thing. You never have to pay for it again. It's actually a lot, very dependable. The box itself you can carry with you when you travel. For instance, I uh, when I traveled to China with the Great Firewall, uh, I remember the first time I went there in the past, I had VPN and uh, somebody had, uh, asked it, told me to oh buy this VPN it'll work and when I went there it didn't work and basically mm -hmm. I was not able to access any of my uh, work info there uh, for like almost an entire week it was a nightmare and so after having uh, received a deeper connect um, going to China I just bring that thing with me plug it in and I have access to everything I never have to worry about oh is this VPN VPN going to work this time or not mm -hmm. um, so the the DPN um, is, is another feature. And then, and then the the Web 3.0 I think is bigger than anything. Um, you know, of course, if you're a miner and you're you're trying to 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 mine DPR tokens for its value and everything, that's a huge incentive as well. Um, so it's actually buy one get three free because we got the <laughs> the DPN and then we have the security and then we have the Web 3.0 gateway, which is uh, basically the future of the internet. Mm -hmm. And then we have the the mining feature. So. Um, Definitely. People buy it for all whatever reasons, and I think just in any of one of those reasons is a good enough reason to buy the unit itself at two forty nine. Really, mm -hmm. definitely. Yeah. And I, I want to touch a little bit deeper into the the mining and just the the reward of the DPR tokens. Can you just talk about if there are other utilities or other functionalities of DPR within the platform, and does it have other use cases that create a sustainable ecosystem? Sure. Um, well, I mentioned the the um, the donating of the bandwidth uh, to the network. So the more people that are on the network makes the, the network more robust. Uh, we have over 10,000 nodes now. By the end of the year, we're, we're trajecting, trajecting the, projecting the, uh, the number to be 100,000. And in the next few years, we're looking at millions of nodes. Um, we're trying to keep up with demand. We just recently opened a warehouse um, in the US as well, a, a distribution center. Um, so we're trying to scale as well, and that, that's happening very quickly. Um, as far as the DPR goes, um, there's the, everything runs on it. Uh, there's micropayments, people who, who donate uh, bandwidth to the network, people who need bandwidth can purchase extra bandwidth uh, around the world. And, you know, living in Western world, um, I think bandwidth is not, not an issue, but mm -hmm. for a lot of the, the parts around the world, bandwidth is a huge issue. And, um, totally. You still need to have internet in order to access it. So don't don't get me wrong. Um, this is not a replacement for the internet. I don't think there's a, really been a solution for that yet. Where you know if there's internet shutdowns and stuff like, you, you can't really access that. So mm -hmm. you still need internet. And in order to be part of the network, you need to have internet and be able to contribute to the internet. So uh, to the network. I'm sorry. And so um, for people who have very limited data. Um, they want to purchase bandwidth to be able to access the internet more. Um, they could do that with DPR token at a much cheaper cost than they would um, purchasing that data from their internet provider. So that's that's a huge one. Um, as far as uh, the, the mining goes, obviously that's a huge incentive. And 60% uh, of our allocation of the, the total supply, which is capped at 10 billion, is reserved for mining. Mm -hmm. And um, that is not going to be mined out uh, for another 50 years uh, from TGE. Wow. Yeah, so the rewards are, are very robust there. And then the ecosystem itself, I think, is where the value of DPR is is really um, going to shine because of uh, the ecosystem we're going to create. So uh, for DApps developers who create useful DApps, they can um, 
they have to basically spend DPR to be able to put their dApps on the on, mm-hmm. in the store in the dApp store. And uh, for users, they want to buy these dApps that they find useful. Um, then they can use DPR to purchase those. Mm-hmm. Uh, DeFi, we're going to have um, different different uh, products that allow for DPR to be used in the DeFi space. And as we know, uh, the DeFi space is moving at, at lightning speeds, and the products that that are out there are uh, you know nuts uh, in terms of interest, lending, and uh, also this, you know different staking products. And who knows what's going to uh, come up in the future. And then there's um, you know like for instance, we've uh, recently partnered with uh, Bridge Mutual, which sells uh, insurance, um, decentralized insurance. Um, so those are kind of some e-services and products that, that we'll have to offer, which will use the DPR token. Um, Polkadot is built on interoperability. I mean, that that was mm-hmm. one of the foundations of it. So uh, by being on Polkadot and having won the Web3 Foundation grant um, from Polkadot, we're building important mm-hmm. infrastructure for Polkadot. Um, that's, that's our dev team there. And, uh, we're going to be so interoperable with other networks and, and ecosystems that DPR, um, is going to have limitless in terms of, um, usability and, uh, with, with, you know, Ethereum's, uh, Ethereum's platform, Cardano's, all these different platforms, it's all going to be interoperable. So whatever is developed there, will have, um, access to as well through the, uh, the building of bridges between Polkadot and those ecosystems. Definitely. And thank you for all that. That actually is quite a bit of functionality for DPR. And I know not all of it is in place yet. And we're sort of running short on time. But I want to look at the next steps forward in terms of the roadmap and what's really coming out next for Deeper Network in the next few months, if you could hint at that. Sure. Um, We have our public sale. So it's in three days, um, April 5th. We're on paid ignition. We're also on pools. And um, on April 8th, we will do, be doing our main uh, last public round on Tokensoft. So I think registration is almost closing. So you guys got to hurry. Go to our uh, website, www.deeper.network, and you can click into the public sale and, and register there. Um, Right after the public sale, we'll have our token generation event and token distribution, and we will immediately um, list on Uniswap. And uh, we'll look at other DEXs as well. And we're in very close talks with uh, centralized exchanges, uh, tier one centralized exchanges, and we'll uh, hopefully be listing on that very soon. So this will provide uh, plenty of market space, um, marketplace for for the users of um, traders of DPR. And then uh, as far as development goes, I think that's where our bread and butter is. Our products really speaks for itself. And um, we're currently, like I said, developing our Deeper um, Deeper Connect Pico, which is our next generation, uh, sixth generation of the Deeper Connect family. And um, that the price on that is gonna be even more accessible because of we're, we're trying to drive down the price, which helps mm-hmm. with mainstream adoption. So, um, Definitely. Yeah, Mainnet itself is going to be launched uh, later in Q3 of this year. So when Mainnet launches, then mining will start and um, the building of ecosystems will start. We have a lot of partnerships kind of uh, in line that's kind of uh, scheduled with with these kind of um, developments. And um, let's see what else is going on. Uh, Expansion and scaling of our distribution. Uh, that's a huge one. You know, we're trying to keep up with the demand. Um, it, it's been a bit challenging. I apologize for all the um, people who've purchased uh, that are waiting for their for their deeper connect. And we're trying to ship those out as, as fast as we can uh, and manufacturing those. And um, yeah, just I think building out of the ecosystem is our main next step. And um, for the for the rest of the roadmap for the rest of the year and mm-hmm. into the next. Yeah, great. And For the viewers that are looking to follow along with all of these updates and just get into the community and learn more about the public sale and the launches, what's the best way for them to get involved? Um, You can join our Telegram community. Uh, Man, I never never memorized uh, our address there. Uh, You can search Deeper Network and join our Telegram English community. We've doubled um, in size in the last uh, just two months, and it's it's been crazy. Follow our Twitter, Deeper Network, and um, 
we, we have all the socials that are available out there. I, I would say just go to our website. It's probably the, we have a little mm-hmm. tab that pops out on the bottom. You can click and join um, our communities there. It's uh, website again is www.deeper.network. Great, Eric. And I will leave those links as well in the description box for the viewers. Cool. Thank you so much for taking the time. All the best with all of these updates with Deeper Network moving forward. And let's definitely follow up in the near future. Awesome. Thank you, Ashton.